Dear friends, in today's gospel, the privileged role of Mary and Joseph in salvation history is highlighted for us. Joseph, that righteous man who, although a bit confused, was able to embrace Mary, protect her, and watch over her and Jesus. Mary, upon hearing that call that was certainly overwhelming, was able with profound trust to say, yes, Lord, yes, let it be done to me according to your word. And it seems to me that on the day that the parents of Jesus here on earth, Mary and Joseph, is highlighted for us, it seems like a wonderful day for all of us who are sons and daughters, who are blessed to have our parents with us, take this opportunity to express our gratitude to them. It's so easy to take that goodness for granted. But to be able to look at our mothers and fathers and to be aware of the daily sacrifices, all that they do for our well-being and for our good, to say thanks and to pray for them. Dear parents, dear mothers and fathers, in this very busy world in which your sons and daughters hear so many voices speaking to them, so many untruths told to them, surrounded by so many temptations, I know you worry about them. And your task is not always easy. So make sure that each and every day you call upon the help and protection of St. Joseph and ask Mary, our mother, to watch over you. As Pope Francis is reminding us all the time, what our church, what our world needs now more than ever are holy families. Holy families. Maybe today we can all leave with a renewed commitment to be them. It also seems like a wonderful invitation for us today to reflect on God's plan for each one of us. The Lord knows us, knows us by name. We are created in his image and likeness, and he does have a plan for each one of us. And sometimes as we try to be faithful to all that the Lord is asking us, it can be overwhelming. Lord, how am I going to do all that you are asking of me? So demanding, and even sometimes, Lord, it's confusing. But we know that God would never ask something of us unless he assured us of the grace and strength that we need to fulfill it. And where do we find that strength? It's conveyed to us today in the Holy Gospel. As the Lord said to Mary and Joseph, and as he says to each one of us, do not be afraid. My son is Emmanuel, which means God is with us. It's true. God is with us at each and every single moment of our lives. But the question is, are we with God? We certainly are today. You know the importance of coming here to be enlightened by God's holy word, strengthened with his own body and blood, and you make that a priority. And I thank you for that faithful witness. But what about in the course of daily life? When there's so much noise around us, so much chaos, how easy it is to get on that kind of like a treadmill every day and rush you through. What about those days? Are we really 
with God. Sometimes it's challenging. That's why I always found the words of St. Francis de Sales to be so helpful as you go through a day. He says, this is what you should do. Think about the things you're called to do in any given day. And then say, now which of those things will have lasting and eternal value? Then make those things your focus and your priority. That to me seems like sound advice of how we do not live in, a, in chaos, but rather with a clear focus and with serenity. We know what those things include. Each day, being with the Lord, not just talking to him in prayer, but trying to find a, a way to, to allow just a little bit of silence in our lives, just some silence, so that the Lord can talk to our hearts. Something of lasting eternal, eternal value will necessarily include giving to our spouses, giving to our children, giving to our loved ones the most precious gift of all, the gift of our time, our attention, listening, talking with one another. Certainly things of eternal lasting value, especially this time of year, will be mindful of those in our midst, maybe even in our own families, who are feeling a bit alone, or discouraged, or forgotten, maybe suffering, and seeing what, what little thing we can do to lift their spirits, to remind them that God is with them. And certainly, of lasting eternal value, is working, doing our part, to promote the unity that is ours as brothers and sisters in Christ. Listening, respecting, and caring for one another. Dear friends in Christ, we pray today that through the intercession of Mary, our mother, and St. Joseph, her blessed spouse, that we hear anew what God's call, what God's plan is for us and find the strength and grace to do what is required. Always with serenity and peace, trusting in God's promise that his son Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us today and forever. Amen.